The raven himself is hoarse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Or was it a crow? Ah. In Australia, we have five species of ravens and crows. The difference between a raven and crow, it's pretty minimal. They're very hard to tell apart. To be honest, really, it's just the colour of the down at the base of the feathers. It's white in a crow and brown in a raven. So unless you actually catch one and blow on it, you're not really going to know the difference. But there is a simple trick to knowing which raven or crow you're seeing. If you live in a capital city, it's very basic because every capital city only has one species. So if you're in Perth, Canberra or Sydney, chances are you're seeing an Australian raven. If you're in Melbourne and Adelaide, it's a little raven. And a little raven is basically only one centimetre shorter than, a, than an Australian raven. So don't worry, get hung up about the little term. They look basically the same size. If you're in Hobart, it's a forest raven. And if you're in Darwin or Brisbane, it is a Teresian crow. Now, if you're in areas, say, like Alice Springs, which gets both Teresian crows and little crows, or somewhere, say, the north coast of New South Wales, where you can get all five species of, of ravens and crows, there is another easy way to tell, and that's the call that they make. That standard core of the raven is slightly different with all the species. The Australian raven is the highest pitched, actually, but in some ways the loudest, and it's got that three notes, you would probably know that call. It's like it's getting surprised, asking itself a question and giving itself the answer. Uh, the little raven is much more uh, sort of regular. It doesn't draw out its call nearly as much and it, it's a bit deeper in tone than, and pitch than the Australian raven. The forest raven, which is the biggest of them all, it's actually got the deepest and slowest call, a very, very resonant, deep call. <coughs> now, the crows are a little bit flatter in their call and they often call a bit quicker. The Teresian crow, in some ways, can be quite variable, but it reminds me, it, it has more of a quacking quality than a cawing quality. <coughs> And the little crow, which you only find in the really dry parts of Australia, has a very flat and nasal sort of call, almost, almost like it's doing a call with an American accent. <coughs> so that's the easiest way to distinguish your ravens from your crows. Get out there and identify your corvids with confidence. <coughs>